Can we talk for a minute? Box Yo, office. it's your boy, Mr. Box Office from Mr. Box Office TV, back with another video. And in my video today, I want to speak about one quote that was uh, said a couple, uh, a couple of years ago. Well, I think it was a year ago or two years ago. And this quote was this. Manchester United are the most successful English club in how many years? Biggest one anyway. And in that time frame, they've won more than 47 honours, excluding the Charity Shield. But on that basis of them winning 47 major honours or more, because it, it would have been more since the, the statement was made, this quote was made, they have a 60% failure rate per competition that is an 89 percent failure rate so on that basis is a trophies a measurement of success this is a question i need to ask to the people all the Tottenham fans and all around the world that will be watching this video tell me if that is success another statement that was made before we really get into it and get dive deep into it. A percentage of trophies are won by the same five teams. I think you could name most of them. Chelsea, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool. So it's trophies a measurement of success. I'll just carry on with the video just to say this at the moment. We used to, and people might not remember because you might not have been born then. I wasn't born then. Remember a guy called Bill Nicholson? And Bill Nicholson was a, a guy that was very straightforward, straight to the point, but he knew exactly what he wanted in terms of football. He grew up going playing as a player and then gone into coaching and become Tottenham manager. And he gave a straight message what he expected. Tottenham Hotspur are the most successful club winning the double, the first team to win the double under him. And one of the statements that he made that I think people completely forget because now... It's all about the finance and it's all about Champions League. He said this, it's better to fail aiming high or to succeed than to succeed aiming low. At Spurs, set our sights very high so that even failure will have it in its echo of glory. Story being, when we were successful with the likes of all the major players that Tottenham Hotspur fans don't forget that were living in that era. Jimmy Greaves, not to mention all those players that were successful. He left his tenure because he got fed up of players being lazy. Keith Bergenshaw was another manager as well. Again, showing another era. He'd gone through a bad patch. Again, showing again, the owners at the time, the, the club at the time stuck with the manager. Even though we got relegated, we come back up and then we won trophies. Had major players that were playing for us. Even brought in two Argentinians that were fam uh, uh, very much famous, Odiardiles, what to mention one of them. The last time we won an FA Cup, 1991, when I was not even interested in football that time, Mr. Box Office wasn't there at the time with football, but my dad would have seen, would have seen something. Mr. Alex's dad would have seen it. We won an FA Cup with John Terry Venables, God rest his soul. And that's the last time we won the FA Cup. But now, Tottenham Hotspur look at that statement, that I meant to say at the earlier point, saying Manchester United fell 60% of the time. A look statement, and that makes them feel better inside. So how did you feel 
that Manchester United, the guy that the, the team that we say fill 60% of the time or more now, because since that time that quote was made, Manchester United in a worse season have achieved more this season than Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal put together. What does that say to you, Tottenham fans? But I'm in the mud. I'm doing it for clicks and likes. Like I said, my breaking point was done under Marine, after Mourinho came in because I said we should have stuck with Pochettino. I've been proven right in some way because what have we achieved since? And we sat Pochettino Mourinho just before cup final, which summed up what the reason why we sat Pochettino in the first place when we were just wanted Champions League. So we didn't have a long-term view on this again. The mistakes that we've made have been showing up and teams have overtaken us and embarrassed us. Leicester City, one of them, that have gone back to the, gone back to the championship and now come back, uh, gone down to the championship last season and then come back to the Premier League the next season coming up now. West Ham have embarrassed us. The confidence that we got beaten by a Farmers League team, they go off and win it. And got through better, got through further in the two competitions that we have ignored. The Europa Cup that we're going in next season and the Europa Conference League. But we are still thinking we're in the process. When we all know, I haven't heard anything from the board to say, we back out of Ange Postacoglu, but Manchester United, after the season they've had, Ten Hag looks he's going to be out the door and the new manager's coming in because the new owners don't, don't rate him anymore, it, supposedly, allegedly. And they still win the FA Cup against a team that we think we can't get better than, we can't do better. But in a one-off game, Manchester United were able to beat Liverpool, uh, Manchester City. Just something to think about. Like I said before, the ultimate goal is to see Tottenham Hotspur be back to what they were before. We've forgotten about where we were from where we started in 1960. Like I said, read in the statement by the great Bill Nicholson, why are we not aiming high? Credit to Postacoglu, even though I don't even rate him. You know I don't rate him. He wants to win the league. That's aiming high. But clearly, as you saw after Man City, the culture of the club don't want to aim high. And that's nothing really much to say. The story is, is that if you, if you want to aim, if you're going to aim low, you're going to get nothing. The problem is, I need conviction. I need people to show me they change. And unfortunately, someone said very, very clearly when Daniel Levy came in, he was not here for the football. Well, proof for the pudding is that he's never been here for the football. And like I say, if you're going to talk about a business, businesses talk to their customers. They talk. When, when they're under the cosh, when, they're bus- when, when people are doubting them, they put statements out and persuade and tell them that, that they're, they're still there and give reassurances. So... That the argument of being a business, that's an excuse now because a business, an owner, puts a statement out reassuring his customers. And if we're going to treat as customers, that's what you do as, a, as an owner. You make sure your customers are feeling good and reassure them. The people that pay your money, pay your bills. Pay your bills to pay off that staging that you put together. I'm a Tottenham fan because. My dad inspired me to be a Tottenham fan. He could tell me about all the start, talk, tell me all the, the things that he's seen. He can inspire me about what he saw and what, why he was a Tottenham fan. 
On the other hand, Alex's brother, big up to him, he can talk about seeing Arsenal winning the double. You can tell me about winning Premier Leagues. But all I can tell him about is just winning, seeing Cowboy Cups and disappointment. And this is from a child up to where I am right now. And you wonder why I don't care anymore. And I was on the beach and I'm going on tour on holiday. Which you'll again look at and see peeled and keep yourselves locked in on Mr. Box Office TV. Just a spoiler alert for another a couple of videos that are going to be coming out soon in the August. But as I said before, 60% failure rate for Manchester United. And we're basing that on trophies not being, not being a bummer to being successful. That shows you where our priorities are as a fan base and as a club. And that's why the culture of our club is completely wrong. And unfortunately, not one man, manager, Ange Postacoglu, can change it. It's got to be within the club. Because when he goes, you get another manager in, is he going to have the same mentality as Postacoglu? When we had Mourinho and we had Conte, who are both winners. There's nothing much to say and that's it. You, you, can't, you can't excuse it. And you can't say to me, give it time, when I can see the deficiencies already. And like I said before, you could say Liverpool had the worst season goal. You know, they, they fed off. They still came away with a Cowboy Cup, a League Cup. That... It's successful because he's still got a trophy. Tottenham Hots will take that all day long and Champions League. Seeing the, the, the fact that you have arrogant players like Fernandes getting it over the line. Where is that arrogance with Tottenham? Nothing much to say and that's it. Mr. Box Office, can't say any more. You can criticise me. You can say whatever you want about me. But... I need to be convinced. I need to see something. Because unfortunately, when you see teams doing that, Manchester United, West Ham last season, you've got to put question marks on our, on our club. And that's it. That's all they need to say and that's it. Like, subscribe and comment. And, all, and as always, if you didn't know, get to know. Support your boy, Mr. Box Office. Subscribe and like and come on you Spurs and I'm out.